In our last video, we understood the networks and events and how we can able to wait for a response, something like this, and also how we can verify a response. Of course, we didn't did anything creative on the responses yet. And similarly, we also did another way to really wait for the response and we could also scaffold the action inside it and then perform the validation or verification in a way that if the URL contains the employee and the status code is 404 or 200, something like that. But as I told before, we have not really did anything creative with the responses yet. And that's exactly what we are going to be doing this time. But in a twist, we are going to be using the real time application, not just the eaapp.swami.com dummy website. So I'm going to just open the Chrome browser here and I'm going to be using one of the famous e-commerce website in India, which is the flipkart.com. And if you just use this flipkart.com website, you wouldn't have even realized sometime that you are being tracked for each and every operation. Nothing wrong on their business, but this is one of the most important thing, not just Flipkart is going to do it for you, even Amazon is going to do for you, or even a banking website is going to do for you, for example, ICICI or HDFC or ANZ in New Zealand or something like that. So what is the real purpose of tracking really? Well, it's not just about how they can sell their product, but also to understand how to improve their website. For example, what is the heat point of their site being used? like what is the most used button in their website, for example. Similarly, if they wanted to understand what is the most error prone place where a customer always drops after hitting that particular button. So if you want to really understand all these things, we really need to track the user behavior. That's exactly what many websites does. But those tracking that I'm talking about, is not something that you can even verify from an HTTP action or any XHR APIs that you can really look at. For example, if you just go to the flipkart.com website over here, and let me also open the dev tools just right clicking it and let's go to the inspect here and if i go to the network let me again load the flip cart over here you will see that there are so many things coming up like images js files and stuff let, let's just select the xhr for example and you will see that there are some collectors coming like collector blah 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 and there's an ftp i don't know what does that mean and there is another collector so don't even worry about all these things but where is the tracking really where is the tracking really happening here i don't really see any tracking really happening well in order to really see those tracking you need a special tool that you can install for example omnibug which i'm going to be using tool which actually does things for you like this is the one which is going to help you to verify the analytics information it can be an adobe analytics or google analytics or uh something else analytics but you could verify each and every of these analytics information right from your browsers just to see manually like if the tracking is really happening so this is the tool which i have already installed in my browser so if you just go over here or maybe just go to the extension here you can see that i have the omnibug just installed it so you can go ahead and install that and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you that tracking is just really happening one of the simple and most basic tracking really so if i just select the omnibug over here once you install it do you see that i just landed to this website and there is a tracking here like page view and the flip card prod so basically prd is for production right that's what they are doing here if i click the login button here there is an other click but this is not a http call really but this is a tracking information happening for you behind the scene and if i just open this information over here you can see that there are some other details available you can see the summary really like there is an url big url and these are the things which are even being dissected as the small information over here so uh, if you just go to the general information like you can see the currency code is inr which is going to be accepted basically uh, and i think it's going to give you some information from where uh, this origination of the site is being done as well and you can see here there is a link name like login displayed which is this one the login window has been displayed and they have the page id as home page so where this particular login id is being originated so if you open some other product website and then if you click the login button probably this page id will change to that product id really i don't even know but that's what it is so there are so many tracking information available here and if a user closes there is going to be another click over here and it will tell you that the page id is still home page but the link name this time is not login displayed but it is login displayed exit so the link name changes so these are the tracking information but this is one of the most important part in many of the companies websites uh, designings and stuff it has to be tested but there was not even a single better tool to understand or test any of this tracking information. I have been going through these kinds of problem before while I was working for one of the bank and we didn't even had any tool to really test those information. But thanks to Playwright and these kinds of tools that I'm talking about, 
they have these supports out of the box and that's what we are going to be doing in this particular video see how we could be able to test it so let's say if i click it the login button here i wanted to verify if i am being tracked with login displayed and if i close this then i should get login displayed exit something like that so how do i test these information which is not even coming through for me in the network that i was talking about really so if you see the network is still idle there is nothing really happening interesting there so in order to do that first of all we need to automate this process right navigate into the flipkart website clicking the login button the funny thing about this flipkart website is if i just open for the first time in the automated browser the login pop-up window automatically comes up so i need to somehow close this login uh, window by clicking this x over here so if i just go to the inspect you can see that the button text x has to be clicked so that i uh, just ensure that this pop-up window doesn't really appear all right so i have written a template code here pretty much like opening the browser navigating to flipkart.com and waiting for the network idols and stuff and then we are going to be doing the click operation on the locator really so that's going to be super simple code we have already discussed this 100 times and then i'm going to be clicking the login button which is going to be super simple as well which is going to be just clicking uh, an hyperlink which has the text as a login there that's it so once you click it then comes our interesting part which is verifying if we could able to get that particular information so i could able to do all those things over here which is nothing but the tracking information so what i'm going to do is i'm not really interested in uh, verifying if the login displayed event is being displayed but rather the login displayed exit is being displayed so if i go back to the omni bug over here there we go there's nothing here so if i just click other click over here it's login displayed but you can see that the link name is login displayed exit now this is exactly available even in the url over here see that the login displayed exit now i need to verify this and understand how that we can get it so in order to do that the first thing is i'm going to use the same idea that we did before over here but instead of the wait for response I'm going to say wait for request async and the button which I'm going to be clicking is going to be the X button. I'm going to copy paste it over here. So once I click the X button, then I need to get its response. But I'm going to do one more intelligent thing over here. I need to filter which URL that I'm really going to be looking at because there will be hundreds of network requests also in the Omnibug. So I need to go and get the exact URL, which is going to be this guy, right? So I'm just going to copy this URL and then i'm going to go over here url contains because this is just a contain i can just copy paste this part which is what i'm looking for and then i'm going to say the status i think the state is going to be i mean the method is going to be get we can even use the method do you know that we can just hit something like this and you can see that the method is equal to get something like this so i want this particular url or the domain and i want the method to be a get method that's what I wanted. Once I click it, just wait for this particular stuff. And once I get the response back, just show me what is going to be the response detail. But before even I do or go further, I'm going to put a breakpoint here. I'm going to show you how this code is going to look like. So I'm going to hit a debug. Do you see that? That login window thing uh, automatically appears before, which was kind of pain. So, uh, and the waiting was happening because of the network's idle state here uh, and now we are in the right place over here now it's going to click this x mark and once it clicks it it is then going to get the request detail like all the response which is coming out from that particular request so let's put a debug over there and you can see that the request is coming up and if i go to the request here you can see that there is going to be an url coming and this url will have what i'm looking for the login displayed exit this is exactly what i'm looking for right so if i get this which means the login displayed exit is the event which is being triggered which is also coming up so now i could even able to track the information which i was looking for which we couldn't able to do in selenium ever and this is something happening in playwright i really love the matter of fact that playwright can do that in much much simpler fashion you can even test the analytics like google analytics or adobe analytics much much easily well as that said now that we have the response data for the login uh, displayed exit but how do i really even 
get this information because you see that it's a bit of uh, kind of encrypted like because it has a percentage 3a and then percentage 20 because it's all talking in an http context really so how do i even try to decode this particular url well thanks to c sharp they already have the solution for us so i can just put something like a return data is equal to http utility url decode this is the one which i was talking about this can decode any of the response for us i'm gonna put um, it's not really response really right i'm just copy pasting the old code that is the problem so it's a request so this request dot and then i'm gonna say the url so just decode the url for me so which means it's going to give me a decoded url and then verify but you know what we have not did any verification so far except we have just used one of the assert is true the better way of doing assertion in c sharp world is to really use one of the most interesting package which i really love the matter of fact it does a lot of cool stuff we also have a course in academy for that which is nothing but the fluent assertion so i'm going to install that because the assertion looks quite natural if we do it this way so once i have this i can just put like this return data should is the fluent assertions method and then i can say contain because this is this url is going to give a lot of information but just that it's going to decode those information for us and i want the information like account login which is going to be i think it's going to be like see that it's account login displayed exit so i think there is also a colon in between so i'm gonna just say account login colon displayed exit something like this i'm gonna save this one and now i'm gonna put this breakpoint over here and now let's try to debug and see what's gonna basically happen and now you can see that we are coming over here and let's see what is going to be the return data for this decoded value and you can see that we have a decoded value this time so we don't see any of the percentage d percentage 30 something like that you see that now it's all decoded to just like this like spaces and account login colon displayed space exit like that that's what we are looking for over here as well and you can see that the assertion has got passed as well and the test has successfully completed so this is how we could able to even verify the analytics information so which means now we have a whole lot of power to verify an analytics information from any of the website so if you go to amazon.com or any of the banking website for that matter you will see there are so many different analytics information flowing for you behind the scene there was not even a better solution to really verify all these analytics information but now we really have it in playwright